Hello everybody, welcome back to Dishonored, where I'm still sick! Still recording. Oh, what can you do? <clears throat> Apprenticeship Draft 1. Bartholomew, I am sick of mopping your floors and dusting your shelves. All of this in hopes of receiving the crumbs of knowledge that you cast my way. If you think I'm going to wait around forever... Dear High Artificer, this is... Uh, this is in regards to my being chosen for the position of your apprenticeship. Uh, apprentice. If you don't mind, I would appreciate it if you looked at my record of service over the last several months. You will find that I have been... Hi, Artificer. I was visited by Holger himself in my dreams last night. He told me I was to do great works for the Abbey. To cast out darkness where I find it. To help our by brothers with uh, weapons that reach beyond the... <clears throat> physical and into the very heart of the outsider. I think that I'm ready for this task. Okay. It sounds a little crazy to me. Either that or someone who's desperately lying. Which wouldn't be surprising in this game's environment. There's conspiracies. Conspiracies everywhere. Um. <clears throat> Let me think. What's I gonna do? All right, exploration. I wanted to get rid of a dog. Dogs are mean. They try to bite my bum. I don't want to bite my bum. But she's like, ah, your bum look, your bum looks tasty. I'm gonna bite your bum. I cannot break that with a crossbow bolt. Remind me of that. Uh, that's away. Let me see if there's anything I can find with a heart. Anything nearby? Oh, there is. Two things. A rune and a bone charm. <coughs> Perfect. Actually, there's two bone charms. Even better. Oh, hello there, paupers. What brings you here? Death? You don't say. Hmm. <coughs> Poor little poppers. It's yeah, yeah, adorable. I just can't afford to have any mercy on these dogs. Okay, that's where the dog is sleeping. There's a guy I can knock out. How did that miss? Come on. <clears throat> I think about it, save. Okay. Fairly sure I haven't killed any players. Fairly certain. Oh, hello there, rats. Uh, there's a lot of you. You want to maybe back up just a little bit? Wait, where's the... Uh, the bone charms through there, isn't it? How the hell do I get in there? Hmm. I guess it would be either a back entrance or an entrance on the roof. Probably the roof. I could be wrong. I have been wrong before, believe it or not. Oh, that's how. Yo, oh, you can hear me, the corpse. <coughs> Four out of five bone charms. Okay, so I don't. I know ha I haven't missed any. Call the spheres. <coughs> Excerpt from a work of fiction, early chapters. My stomach twisted as the engines of the odd vessel roared louder. It was the creation of Orcado, third prefect from the Academy of Natural Philosophy. He was exhilarated, savoring each of the small craft's undulations. Orcado, or Orchado, I'm guessing it's Orcado, pulled a lever and a great gout of smoke surrounded us. The smell of burning whale oil grew unbearable as the machine propelled itself upward. 
I was too afraid to look through the window, which suddenly didn't feel thick enough, as if knowing my thoughts, uh, oh, as if knowing my thoughts, Overseer Bryn looked at me and smiled. Recite some of the litany, my people. It will protect your heart from the ter turpitude of the void on our way to the outer spheres. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. So that sounds like a flying machine. Ah, uh, looks too long. I'm not going to read it. Unless you lovely people want me to. Just remember, I read all your comments. So speak and you shall receive. You just tell me. Is there a game you want me to play? I'll try to work it into my schedule eventually. Is there... Something you would like me to do in a game I'm currently playing? Tell me and I'll try and do as you say. Uh. <clears throat> Is there uh, a question you would like me to answer? Like a personal question? Uh, within reason, of course. Uh, then tell me and I will answer it in a sort of vlog Q&A video. So please, don't be afraid to comment. I do listen to every all of your comments. As much as possible. Remember, I'm only human. <clears throat> oh, God. I'm sorry for all the coughing and having to clear my throat and such. I'm sick. I can't help it. Believe me, I wish I wasn't sick. I can't stand this. Hmm. Where do I go? Oh, right. I wanted to go get these rune and the... Hello there, doggy. Yo, with your poppers. Whoa. That's new. That was a little brutal. <laughs> But y'all, your poppers was looking at me funny. I hope that's all of them. Let's see the heart. That's not a heart, that's a grenade. Okay, so there's a bone charm and a rune in here. I'm gonna pull out my little thing over here. Don't take that out of context. <coughs> Look through here. See training dummies. It's a workshop. Don't play that creepy music, please. Thank you. Workshop key. I already have one. I don't know why it's giving me a second one, but okay. Okay. Unless there's a way to get in here without actually using the door, which I'm guessing would be that roof. Okay. Concerning the crossbows. Campbell. We initially thought it a great find when we came across some of the crossbows that the assassins had been using to harry our patrols. The models we found, however, have proven to be lacking. Dowd's men have greater accuracy and range, and I swear their reloads, theirs reload faster. I'm recommending that we stick with pistols and sabers and count this as a lesson in where our strengths lie. Sincerely, High Artificer Bartholomew. Okay. The thing is, the whole difference is that the whole point of the crossbow is for it to be silent, so I'm not noticeable. When I murder you all, mercilessly. My no, these people don't know the finer things in life. Hmm. No sleeper bolts? Nope. Okay. No, look at their little rats. Tivian ore. Okay, lots of money. The Metaphysica Mysterium. Okay. Excerpt from a long-band work on supernatural ritual. 
It is said that we should not sully our hands when combating the forces of the void. My studies have been deemed heretical by my brothers, but the rewards have been invaluable. I have harnessed the same energies employed by the outsiders and accursed followers while avoiding their corruption. I will prescribe a twofold method in this text. Indirection. As the unwholesome powers of the outsider use living flesh as a conduit, we can avoid being tainted by using the flesh of others instead. Containment. And by using channels and barriers, we can focus these void energies in a raw state, shielding them from the perverse perspectives of the outsider. Huh. Although that means that I'm going to have to deal with some enemies that have my powers at some point, is that is what make that what that sounds like, potentially. I hope that's wrong. Well, that would explain why there's a bunch of freaking bone charms and runes just casually laying around in this place. Storage door valve. Okay, let's see. We well, see to it that this valve gets installed in that little supply depot by the loading docks. The men have been grumbling about this thing for what be, must be months now, as if there were anything of value on the other side of that door it's supposed to open. Keep quelling problems like this for me, and you just might be an apprentice. Uh, might just you just might make apprentice. Signed, High Artificer Bartholomew. Okay. I guess it's a story-heavy game. I mean, the story is interesting. Ooh, a key. Workshop chest key. What chest? I saw no chest. Exploding hounds. Excuse me? <coughs> Bartholomew, I've seen the harnesses you've been devising in that workshop of yours. If you plan to strap explosives to my precious hounds and make living bombs out of them, you can count me out of your plan. I'm the master of the hounds here, and without my training, they'll never do as you request. Signed, Houndmaster Warden. Uh Crap, there's gonna be freaking kamikaze dogs. Music box. Overseer Humphrey, I left you a copy of the ancient music so you might familiar or familiarize yourself with the principles I'm employing in this latest variation of Holger's device. Or the music box, as the men call it. As you should know, it produces harmonies that render heretical energies or magic inert through counterbalancing mathematical principles. Read the book and then make yourself useful by finding us some subjects to test it on. The city is choked with corruption and superstition, so I trust you won't have to work to look far. Okay. So that makes a sound. Disoriented by Overseer device. Great. So that means there's going to be problems for me later. Get the rune. The ancient music. Throughout the natural world, there are ripples that we can barely perceive with our senses, and ancient music permeating everything as a fundamental structural rule. Through it, you can work wonders without violating the natural world or begging favors from unfriendly spirits. Throughout my studies, I have found a 17-note scale derived from this ph phenomenon, and with the right equipment, this note those notes allow for astonishing effects. Not the least of these is the ability to calm the turbulence originating in the void, which we attribute attribute to the outsider. <clears throat> we cannot doubt the effectiveness of Holger's device. Let's just or listen to this. Good question. Probably a heart. Oh, I get the feeling if someone was here, they could have turned that on to stop me from using my powers. That would have been a pain.
Okay, so the bone charm is over there. <clears throat> the question is, how the flurf do I reach it? I guess back outside I go. You don't say, lady. Wait a second, where's the freaking valve? There was a valve I needed to take. Yeah, this valve. There's probably something of value. I'm sure. What? I don't know, but we'll have to see. Let's see. Dark eyes. If my freaking mouse wheel would cooperate. I just want to see if there's an... There's a dog there. That's not good. Here's your little poppers. That missed. That's a bad poppers. You should know better. Hmm. Oh, that's where it is. Okay. Crap, there's probably people over here. There's rats. More rats. Don't worry, people. I'm not going to forget about what I'm looking for. in here. Backyard gate key. Hmm. I think here. Is there anything here? Uh, hey, good. I can tell you right now, that ain't good at all. Huh. Heart. Of course it's going to be right in the middle of all that. <clears throat> okay. It's going to be... There's so many rats. Okay, let me... See if there's anything other than rats down there. There isn't. So, goodbye rats! Yo, look at you little rats. They all go splat. Let me just toss you over there. And they are now soup. I was about to say, how's my dark vision not worn off yet? Uh-uh. Oh, someone must have heard my explosions. Okay, found all the bone charms, found all the runes. Enjoy. Or tools. Trevor, we're going to need another shipment of tools to destroy these accursed bone charms. Though we managed to break down over a dozen last month, there are more coming in from all over Gristal, and things are remarkably resilient. The things are remarkably resilient. Bone charm situation. Eh, screw it. Sorry, people, I am interested in the story. It's just, I've probably spent more time reading in this episode than I have actually doing things, and I'm pretty sure that probably irritates you. If you want me to know, like, if it doesn't, just let me know in the comments, and I'll try to, I'll read whatever you want in the further episodes, if you're that interested in the story. Just remember, I'm doing this to entertain you, so don't be afraid to comment if I'm doing something wrong.
or if you'd want me to do something. Because I understand the frustration. I've seen, I've, I've watched other Let's Players. I've seen freaking, like, Aaron Hansen just skip through the story, including parts where the game tells him what to do, and then he'll get lost completely and go, like, what do I do? The game never told me! And it drives me nuts. And so I can understand if it would drive you nuts, too, when someone else does it. And that's why I try, I try to focus on the story and pay attention so I actually know what I'm doing. At least to an extent. Where the hell am I going? How did I not get noticed? Shh, go to sleep. Oh. Neat. I guess I'm finding everything here at least. Not sure what there is else back here though. Good idea to find out. Oh crap, there's a lot. Nope. Oh joy. Wait, 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 wait. No. Was there a way I could have prevented that? No. That ain't cool. God dang it. I screwed up, probably. Oh no, I hope I didn't. I get the feeling that that could have been prevented if I wouldn't have stood back, and then there probably would have been a reward for it. Oh, that would kind of suck if there were things that you could stop from happening, but then couldn't. Uh, but then you could, or, I don't know, my words. My words don't work. Oh, what's in here? Hagfish. Food. Lots of food. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Blow it out your butt. Abducty manifest. The fallen children have been brought to Godfrey's farm, awaiting passage to Whitecliff on the 13th day, month of seeds. Jude Thornton, Ada Hargreave, Nicholas Rains, Patrick Fagan, Roland Williams, Zachary Clinton, Thomas Jordan, Kent Hodgson. Ration allotment, 12 crusts of bread, 1 wheel of blood ox cheese, 5 tins of brined hagfish. Huh. Okay, that's like a storybook, so I'm not gonna bother reading that. Why is there a creepy doll here? Ah, uh, he's full. I don't feel comfortable with there being a little kid's pants on the ground. I hope that doesn't mean anything. Jared, are you here? <laughs> Uh, that's horrible. Now where's that prick? Is he still looking for me? Wait. Why does he look dead? Oh wait, that's his buddy that I knocked out. Where'd the other guy go? He was here. Ouch. Go up here. 
I know there's probably only items for me to find. But, I mean, I don't want to miss out on anything. Especially seeing as money is pretty important in this. Whew. Almost didn't make that. Whew. Almost didn't make that. <clears throat> oh, hello, dear mister. Good night. Go to sleep. The murderous prick. That's a fancy sword. Okay. I think I'm done over here, so I'm gonna go get that valve. I left behind and uh, use that to open a fancy door hopefully the way it sounded it sounded like it's down here I think it said next to the shipping docks wasn't it oh wait actually crap Technically, now would be a. Are you freaking serious? Okay, open this. Well, I'll end this episode after I finish this, I guess. Overseer Bloom, I have a replacement valve for this door fin finished at the workshop. Once we install it, we can finally see what's been festering in the supply depot for the past year. Come see me when you want it. Okay. There. So, what's in here? Oh. It's a building I've always al I was already in. God dang it, come on. I mean, really... Should do better than that. Oh, oh where's the boat? Missed the boat. Let's leave this hellhole. I should leave triumphantly. Yes, it is. Now, if only there was a fast way down. <clears throat> I guess it's a 30 minute episode. Sorry, people. I could tell. Ooh. Well, let's go, Samuel. From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty posh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Uh huh. You ready to go? Yes, let's go. Yes, take me back to Hound's Pit Pub. Fairly sure I beat everything here. I hope. Let's see, civilians killed none. Didn't kill anyone, check, good. Hostiles killed none, civilians killed none, alarms rung, none. Dead or unconscious bodies found 24, but mostly that would be unconscious. Except for the dogs. Ghosts never detected. Special actions. Helped Granny infect the Bottle Street Gang. Rescued Griff the Scavenger. Branded Campbell as a heretic. Yes. Yes! Found all the ruins, bone charms, outside shrines, and everything. Woo! Excuse me. Martin is on his way to join the Loyalist, and Campbell's fate has... Throwing the overseers into disarray. Decoding the high overseer's journal may reveal any number of strategic secrets. <coughs> Most notably, the location of the rightful heir to the throne, Emily Caldwin. Admiral Havelock, 
So far, so good. I expect they'll want to congratulate. I expect they better. Considering everything I've been through. That was just the first mission. Uh, why am I hearing gunshots? Anyways, I'm a save. And I will end this episode here. So if you lovely people enjoyed this, leave a like and subscribe, leave a comment, possibly leave a donation, share the channel with your friends, poke the notification button. If you want to support my channel and help it grow, or help it improve, visit my Patreon. Um, of course, that's only if you can actually afford it. If you want to, that is. <laughs> um, and I'll see you lovely people the next episode. Have a good night, everybody.